I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to keep it sweet. Um, This was on the community tab. And something that a lot of people were making fun of and bringing up was in comparison how she looks and different things. Now, let me be frank with you. Most women after birth do not look their best. And in fact, uh, it's a grueling process that is strenuous on the body. So her shift in looks, she's only going to shift to so much though. That she does shift in looks. Women do shift in looks, and you know, pregnancy takes a toll on their home hormones and how they look. Now, what people are making fun of is not just how she looks, but how much she looks like someone else. And it took people a while to kind of get it down, but she actually looks like a millionaire. Yeah. And the problem that a lot of men have is this is at the bottom line of reading because look at his face and his facial expressions, different things. You know, even if you disclude hormones, in comparison to hers. Um, but this is the community being choked. You know, this is, <laughs> this is how a lot of men kind of view it. Because, look, at the end of the day, again, and some a problem that a lot of the rhetoric that a lot of women say it's going to run into, when it comes to the subject in particular, is who's allowed to get up to have kids? You see, there are a lot of childless men who are black in the black community. So when you try to, again, put all the stuff on all the black men, stuff like that, great, fantastic. But when the fundamentals of what you're saying is challenged and you, you have to use whataboutism, you're in trouble. Not only that, it's something that no one should believe. In fact, anyone who believes uh, fundamentally that black men are bad because of well, what black women say and then when this has just showed up or bad information comes up, they can't say anything or they have these what about is they lost. They just don't want to admit it. And that's oftentimes what I see. It's like they can't admit that they said or did something and they don't know how to back out of it. You see, if you truly love something, you will challenge it. And not with a person uh, how can I say this when it comes to ideologies if you truly love and understand something you will challenge it or allow it to be challenged if you have to protect something from being challenged then yeah it's actually not going to work it's actually pretty weak I'm not talking about people because here's the thing as a person and as a human being life will naturally challenge you if you're in a relationship life will naturally challenge you. That is different from ideologies and different things being challenged. That is, it's different. But the issue that I see when, I come, when it comes to this is like, particularly when it's challenged, it's like this. Now, a lot of these are common because, well, post-mortem, whatever. You know, right after she has the baby, however you say that, I'm not using the right word even. Uh, she looks very unfeminine. And, and again, it's, it's uh, the standards versus and what happened versus what is a lot that a lot of men have complaints about because what they try to do, what a, what a lot of black men try to do is they try to say, oh, we have degrees. So this allows us to up in levels. Because they can't use body count and they can't be loud or honest about it. They can't say, well, I, I had sex with this dude. I mean, they can't use it, but it doesn't hold up because if every other girl had sex with the same dude, then you're in trouble. You know what I mean is your values challenge, especially when you consider at the bottom and that you're choking out certain dudes. So if education uh, doesn't, doesn't hold on, then what does? Nothing does. And this is a lot of men's complaints. What they're saying is like the rhetoric that was used to challenge them was based in nothing. Because at the bottom, the, when it comes to the bottom of the women, they're fine. They, they were not uh, challenged when it comes down to it. You have to be a certain way, have a certain amount of looks and different things. And God forbid as a black as a black woman, you end up looking like your mom. God forbid. Because the only way you're allowed to plead is if she's ugly or if she's short. And for a bro, we get either one of those. And, you know, anyway. and I'm talking about on the average level. Because anywhere above average, you, you might win out, but it depends. 
Like it, it really depends on the strength of genes, stuff like that, on what comes out. Because if you don't get that, if you don't get certain things, then you're in trouble. Because in any other community, the women are not really support, not in the black community. Definitely not for themselves. But again, uh, they're also making fun of the fact that he is possibly going to leave. And yeah, um, look, for for Ruffalo, if he's posing to take a picture, uh, he might stay. I don't know his face, but you know, I'm kind of separating the jokes from what's actually going on in the picture, obviously. In the picture, you don't know. They could both be honestly tired because they both just went through the process of labor. And uh, I'm be honest, after women have a baby and all their hormones affect their face, stuff like that, they normally don't. They, they all, very few of them actually go back. Uh, how can I say this without sounding insulting? I can't. Their bodies morph almost permanently after having kids. And so, yeah, it's, it's a completely different thing and you know what i would i would accept the argument oh they risk their life if they were making smart decisions or community decisions by risking, risking their life and having kids they're not that's some dude who she chose off her birthday so community had nothing to do with it um none we had nothing to do with 